Hi, I'm Exo, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. Installing roof sheeting is something that a lot of people will at some stage need to do at home. Whether it's to cover up a veranda, replacing old roof sheets, or building a new structure. It really sounds like a huge task, but it's fairly simple. However, you will need an extra set of hands and to have a plan in place. So today, we're going to be covering this veranda that has been enclosed. And the products that you'll need are roof sheets and your choice of material and color, 90 millimeter tech screws with rubber washers. And the tools you'll need are a drill driver with a magnetic nut setter, an angle grinder with a metal cutting disc, a tape measure, a marker, a square, a ladder, as well as your PPE. So we've already measured the area. It's 10 meters by 2.5 meters, which gives us an area of 25 square meters. The wooden framework has been done in advance, so it's time to get the sheets up. This installation is going to join in with the old roof, so we're going to have to slide these sheets underneath those, which means we need to remove existing screws along this beam. The plan is to alternate between galvanized and polycarbonate sheeting. The polycarbonate sheet is a plastic opaque material that lets natural light through. If you were installing corrugated or IBR, the principles are the same. Time to get the roof sheets on, Starting from one of the ends, we're going to lift the existing roof sheets and slide this one underneath, making sure the profiles match up. The length of these sheets is 3.6 meters to allow for the overhang, and we are going to need to trim them so that a cutter can be installed. So the first sheet is in position, and we're going to start attaching the first screws through the previous holes. Remember here, it is vital you put the screws on the rib portion. That means on the top of the ridge. If we screw these in here, the rainwater runs here and it's going to leak badly. Now that the top side is done, I'm going to fasten the middle and end of the sheets the same way along the supporting beams, but leaving the last rib as the next sheet will attach to that. Tech screws are great. They drill through the roof sheets and straight into the wood. Just remember to put a rubber washer on them. They're designed for roofing. Careful not to over tighten them, so use the clutch if your drill has one or do the final tightening by hand. Now the first roof sheet is in place and now we're going to leave a bit of space for the installation of the cutter. So from the edge of the timber, we're going to measure 100 millimeters, mark, measure and cut. Now an angle grinder with a metal cutting disc will cut both galvanized and polycarbonate sheets. Just remember your PPE. It's time to get the second sheet on and this time we're going with polycarbonate. See if we only use galvanized, it'll be very dark in here. Whereas if we only use polycarbonate, it'd turn this place into a greenhouse, which would make it very warm. So by alternating between the two, we get the best of both worlds. Same procedure as earlier. Overlap it by one rib and slide it under. Once you're happy it's straight, secure it. And then start with a double rib overlap and work your way across. It is important to make sure that you're straight all the way. And if the wall is straight, it shouldn't have a problem. But if the wall is not straight, you may need to trim the edge slightly to get it to fit properly. And we're going to carry on along this area, alternating as we go. Last screw is done. All the sheets are screwed down and cut to size. Look at what a massive difference this has made. I've managed to create a usable area that is sheltered from the rain and direct sunlight, which otherwise had limited usage. Now remember, everything I've used is available at Builders, in-store, or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.